Welcome to story time, everybody. Welcome to story time with Radhika. And today's topic is what's the difference between hell and heaven? Let's see. So guys, what do you think is the difference between hell and heaven? What is hell? Last time I heard answers like, oh, it's burning with fire. It's very hot. And it's a place where you suffer, etc. What is it, Nitya? What do you think? What is hell? Um, hell is the place where people go when they make not good decisions. <laughs> not so good decisions. Okay. And what is heaven in contrary? Like, is it is, is there a difference between the two places? I mean, what is it? Yeah, Nidhi, go ahead. Um, so, uh, in my opinion, heaven and hell are basically uh, concepts in your mind. Concepts in our mind, yeah. yeah. Because uh, heaven is when you are content uh -huh. and you're not restless. Not restless. That, okay. is heaven. that is beautiful. Very nicely said, Nidhi. Very nicely said. Okay, so let's look at the story. So, there was this village and there were very curious people just like all of us, right? They said there was a big debate in their town. They said, what is the difference between hell and heaven? And apparently in that village, they had somebody who can get tickets to both hell and heaven. And they had spaceships or shuttles or whatever to transport the people there to go find out what is the difference between hell and actual experience, right? So now they board the flight or spaceship or whatever. They first land in hell. They go there, they get down and everyone is so surprised. They're like, what? The roads are so clean. The weather is so good. It's blue skies. They enter the kitchen. It's almost like breakfast time or something. They go there and then the tables are like, you know how Harry Potter world, they go in and during mealtime, all the lovely food appears on the table. Like that, there's just overflowing goodness of like chocolate fountain and whatever you name it, you guys, rasgullas and gulab jamuns and pizzas and burgers and everything, all paneer paratas and all of that was there. Like you name it and everything was ready for them. But all the people who came to the dining hall in hell were so upset. They looked so lean and weak. They looked like they were starving. Everyone was so angry, hangry probably because they were so hungry and none of them could eat. And when these guys observed, they said, there's no shortage of food. How come they're not eating? They saw that these guys could not bend their elbows. For eating, do you need to bend your elbows or no? Can you eat without bending the elbow? No. So all of the, and so this group of villagers who had gone there for a field trip, they were like, this looks like a practical joke. What is this? How mean? How could they make their elbows not bend? They say, okay, let's go check out what heaven looks like. Again, they board their spaceship. They land in heaven. They get down. There's no difference. It's almost identical. There are blue buildings here and the blue buildings are there. Like everything was so identical. From the outside, there was no difference. But when they neared the lunch hall, there was a huge difference. As opposed to complaints and sad voices, here, there was a lot of laughter and cheer and people were so happy. Now, these guys really were curious. They went in, they said, what is the difference? They go in, everybody is eating happily. They see, are they bending their elbows? Not really. It's like somebody is picking up food and feeding the other person. So Nitya is saying, I want paneer paratha. And Radhika is happily feeding Nitya paneer paratha. Navya says, I want gulab jamun. And Nitya very sweetly says, here you go, Navya, here's your gulab jamun. And Akshar just calling out and saying, but I want my idli and my chutney. And Navya says, I'll feed you the idli and chutney. So they are feeding each other like that. Although even their elbows could not bend. So what really is heaven and hell? Yes, Navya, go for it. The difference um, isn't about like how it looks. It's about how people act to make things better. It's about how people act to flip it. Absolutely. You nailed it. You nailed it, Navya. So beautifully shared. Um, anyone else has any other thoughts from the story? Yes, Nidhi? Uh, Navya just uh, said what is written in the Gita. 
It's how you react to the situation. Yes, how you respond rather. That is what Sri Krishna said that just focus on your reaction. Your karam won't even touch you. Oh, now this is heavy yarn. Very nice. Beautiful, right? It's up to us whether we want to make things like heaven or hell. It's up to the choices that we make, how we treat others. Good story. Yeah. Yes, Navya. Yeah. I have one more thing to say. Sure. It's like heaven and hell are just there for like examples on how you should act. Mm -hmm. It's not like the actual, but it's your choice on how you act. Heaven and hell are just examples on how you should act. Yes, very, very. So it's up to you to make a place a heaven or hell, right? It's hell when you're complaining, when you're gossiping, when you're pulling somebody down. You're, uh, But it's heaven when you are there for the other person. Yeah, very cool. Anyone else? Any other thoughts? Lakshmi ji, Tina, anything you want to share? Akshaj, Achyut, anything? No? All right. Let's do our closing prayers then. Good job, you guys. <laughs>